Hello and welcome back to UK Highland Photography here on YouTube, the channel dedicated to helping you to become a better photographer. Today I want to talk to you about a thing called the Inverse Square Law. Now it sounds pretty scientific, but I'm going to try and break it down into its most basic context, so don't worry. Okay, I remember talking to a professional photographer once and he once told me, don't mess your time messing around with the first square law. Don't bother learning it. To be honest, guys, I think he was wrong. I think that as photographers, we should learn more about the first square law as it does help us make better photographs. Now, here's my introduction into what the first square law is. Here in my hand is a flash gun. Okay, it's a flash unit. It creates flash. Now, this is the same with all light emitting devices in the world, okay? When a flash leaves a flash unit, there's two main things to take into consideration. That is the first one, that the light is at its most powerfulest setting when it leaves the light unit, and two, it is at its most narrowest point in the first square law. Now, as it travels, the light will eventually get wider and wider, okay? But as it travels even further in time, it will also become weaker. So, further on down the line, it's not going to be as strong as it was when it first left the flash unit. Now that makes sense, doesn't it? Bear in mind you can also look at the grid above so you can see what I'm saying to you. Now that we know this, let me give you an example of this working in the real world, okay? So here's the flash gun. It's pointed at my face and I take a photograph of myself. Now under the rules of the first square law, what is happening is that only my face is being lit by the flash. And the only reason my face is being lit by the flash is because this flash has not grown enough in order to illuminate my entire body because it's only grew to about above my head and to about my shoulder. So in order to illuminate my entire body, what I have to do is I have to move either the flash away from me or I have to move myself away from the flash. Either way, I need to put distance in between me and the flash in order to illuminate my entire body. Now, if we move the flash away so we can illuminate my entire body, we also at the same time have to increase the power of the flash because we have to take into account that over a period of time as the light does grow wider it will also become weaker so we have to compensate for that fact so basically guys i hope i have explained to you the very basics of what the first square law is